police now looking into this video, a Snapchat post showing a man appearing to fire a weapon through the streets of Northwest Houston. Unfortunately, this is not the first time we've seen this kind of social media post. Hello and thank you for joining us. I'm Dominique Soxa. And I'm Keith Garvin. And for Bill tonight, that video was posted on the social site last week. And tonight, as the investigation gets underway, people are talking. Channel 2's Taisha Walker joins us live with a better look at that video. Taisha. Now, the video that you're about to see was sent to us by a Channel 2 viewer who noticed it on Snapchat several days ago. That viewer, along with the people that we showed it to, describe it as disturbing. In a snap posted last week, a man riding in the back seat is seen pointing and appears to be shooting a gun out of a moving car. Oh, my goodness. Girl, what in the world? Nine rounds randomly shot into the air. That's crazy. Where's that at? Prior snaps point to Northwest Houston. You saw him. He was very well mannered. His mind was sane. He was very confident, relaxed, and ready for whatever he was ready to do. Crazy, reckless, says Kevin Lockler. To have somebody just cruise around the streets like that, just firing firearms like that, that is crazy. Lockler owns a gun and believes in responsible gun ownership. It gives gun owners a bad name, and that's part of the issue we have going on now with everybody fighting over the Second Amendment right and all that. <sighs> we gonna pray about this. She means it too. We caught her in the middle of Bible study. And the disciples were multiplied. Empress T says she's going to pray harder tonight, knowing the armed man in that video is still out there. Individuals walking, it's dark time. You can't see him. But yet and still, he can see us. And he had targets and he shot as if he had no remorse for anybody that was standing out there. The Houston Police Department was unaware of that Snapchat video until we sent it to them. But they tell us this afternoon that they plan to open an investigation to find out who was behind that gun. As right now, uh, it doesn't appear that anybody was injured that night. Reporting in Northwest Houston, Taisha Walker for KPRC Channel 2 News.